Minneapolis, one half of the Twin Cities and a melting pot of cultures, communities, and histories. Before I became a full-time traveler, Minneapolis was my home. And while I now spend my days climbing volcanoes and swimming with sharks, I still make time every year to visit the city that made me who I am today. And if I'm visiting Minneapolis, well then it's only right that I invite you to come with me. And on today's journey, you better believe we're gonna chow down on some delicious food along the way. There is perhaps no place that better embodies the spirit and diversity of Minneapolis than the Midtown Global Market. With over 45 different businesses representing over 22 different ethnicities, the market is home to a medley of delicious food, unique art, crafts, clothing, and so much more. Before we head into the market and chow down, I would greatly appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss a single bite from my journeys around the world. And now, a word from our sponsor. It's time to open new doors. It's time for new beginnings. It's time to take the next step. It's time to look ahead to tomorrow and time to embrace the possibilities of today. Sirdar Partners Real Estate Services. It's time to come home. I've come here today to show you why it's always a good time to visit Midtown Global Market and to take a look into two exciting new restaurants that are serving up some incredibly delicious food. First, we're gonna take a trip down south to chow down on some authentic Southern style soul food. Then we're gonna head a little bit further south to chow down at one of Minnesota's first Venezuelan restaurants. Before we stuff our faces, let's take a quick tour of the market and see everything that you can get here. You can get Mediterranean food. You can get Asian food. You can get coffee. You can chow down on Mexican food. We can't forget about the American food. Oh yeah, they've got sushi too. They've got Venezuelan food. More Mexican food options. Whoa, 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 hold up. They got African food too. All the groceries you need. Locally made Minnesota goods. Bubble tea on one side and delicious Indian food on the other. We can't forget about the Moroccan food. We can't forget about delicious tortas. If you're thirsty, they've also got a brewery too. And finally, they have soul food too. Once you come here, you'll really realize that there is no place in Minnesota like the Midtown Global Market. Our first bite today is taking us to the recently opened Soul to Soul. They are specializing in Southern style soul food. We're talking brisket, we're talking smoked chicken, collard greens, sweet potato pie ice cream, and so much more. All right, even though we're in the bold north of Minnesota, we are heading south. In front of me is an absolute out of control barbecue spread. What are we working with here? Let's break it down. First off, we've got the corn on the cob. Check that out, baby. Next up, we've got some smoked pork. Smells absolutely incredible. I was watching them while they were cutting it. You, 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 could, you could see the juices just dancing, dancing, coming right off the meat. Next up here, we've got some smoked chicken. Over here, we've got the brisket, baby. Next up, we've got the billionaire chicken wings. You can see all the different herbs that have been baked into it. We cannot forget about the sides. What are we working with now? Yo, yo, yo. We've got the special blend of soul to soul beans. We've also got some collard greens, a favorite of down south cooking. And then we've got mac and cheese, another classic southern smokehouse staple. And last but not least, the black eyed peas. Let's see what's really, really good with the soul to soul smokehouse selection here. What should we start with first? And for the first bite, I could not show up to a barbecue place without trying the brisket first. Oh my God. Look at the colors coming off this brisket. We're about to get the straight up meat sweats from this bad boy, I think. For the first bite, we're going all in. No sauce, pure flavor. Pow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Next big bite. It's time to put some pork on the fork. Here we've got their famous smoked pork. Pow. Mm. That was a proper piece of pork. Well done, super juicy, really tender. Now it's corn time. Pow. Mmm, mmm, oh yeah, that is a killer cob. Here we've got the smoked chicken, and it's already just fallen off the bone. I mean, look at that! The tenderness on the meats of this place, soul to soul, you are killing it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just absolutely disintegrating in my hand. Wow, 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 let's try it out. Oh my God, the smoky flavor, the tenderness, the richness of the chicken, not a single scrap of fat anywhere on here. It is so, so good. Our last bite here is gonna be this gigantic piece of fried chicken. Just a big, big, tender chunk of chicken. Oh 
yeah, 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 yeah. Flavor explosion. Come check us out, Soul to Soul Smokehouse. Here you go with the sweet oh, yeah. potato pie. You want, you want to tell us about that real quick? Yeah. So this is exclusive to Soul to Soul. It's the sweet potato pie ice cream. You can only get it here. And people are going crazy for it. So if you want some sweet potato pie ice cream, it's a good food overall. Come and see us here at Soul to Soul. If you're from Minnesota, a few of the vendors here actually set up shop at the State Fair. You can check out Manny's Tortas, Hot Indian Food, and even Andy's Diner if you make it to the State Fair. Next up, we're about to meet an amazing chef named Soleil who has opened one of the first Venezuelan restaurants in Minnesota. Let's see what's really, really good at a Rapa Bar. This is a dish called Pabellan Criollo. Let's get a little bit of the rice on the fork. Let's get some of the beans. Let's get a little bit of the plantain. Let's get a lot of that shredded beef on there. And woo! Yo, that's a big one. Pow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not saving dessert for the end this time. We're tearing in right now. These are the sweet bites, and by the description, my mouth is already watering. What we've got here is sweet corn masa. Inside, we've got Venezuelan cheese. And then anise. Oh, cannot wait to tear in to the sweet bite. Pow! Mmm! That is an incredibly unique dessert. I've never had anything like that before. More like an adult dessert, uh, if you will. Yeah, what a unique dessert. Would definitely chow down on these again. Sliding up next, we've got the Poveroso de Pollo, or essentially chicken pie. Look at that gigantic stack of shredded chicken, just like all the other meats we've had today. It looks really tender, and I'm sure it is. Got some plantains on the side and the black beans. All right, Poveroso de Pollo. We're gonna grab a little bit of the shredded chicken first. We're gonna break off a little bit of that pie. Pow! Mm -hmm. The flavor, the magic. Inside this polvoroso de pollo, it really has to be tasted to be believed. I'm not sure, th there, was, there was such a unique flavor blend in here happening. I think it's coming from the sofrito. There's also raisins in here. I would eat one of these things every single day. We could not visit a place called Arepa Bar without chowing down on an actual arepa. Check this out. This is one of the largest arepas I've ever seen in my life. The one with the special of the day. Pow. Mm. Before we talk about the flavors, how about the colors coming off this arepa? We got some pinks, some oranges, and some reds, and some yellows. This is downright beautiful to look at. I almost didn't want to take a bite, it was so pretty. The first couple bites though, where to even begin? The savory tenderness of that pork inside, super, super juicy. The beans mixed in with the cheese, mixed in with the vegetables. This is an absolute winner. The arepa on the outside, fried to perfection. It's got a nice crispiness to it when you bite in. Would definitely get an arepa here again. Would be curious to see what other options they have too. Cheers. Soleil really emphasized how important family is in Venezuelan culture. So this rum cake right here is actually made by her brother. I don't think I've ever had rum cake before. It looks mega moist in the middle there. Oh yeah, we don't even need a knife for it, baby. We're just taking it right there with that fork. Whoa, powdered sugar popping off everywhere. Fireworks. All right, rum cake, pow. This is an incredible, incredible piece of cake. Bursting with flavor. It's like a bun cake with a little rum flavor. I'm definitely picking up on some notes of like vanilla in here as well. Proper, proper rum cake. And that's that. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And hopefully you're already planning your first of many visits to the market. My name's Brent Tim from Midtown Global Market and I'm saying ciao for now.